I was sad. AI said, I'm sorry you feel that way. But like, did it mean it? AI can say nice things, but that doesn't mean it knows what sad feels like. When I feel stuff, like scared. During a thunderstorm, my brain sends messages to my body. My heart beats faster. My tummy flips. That's emotion. AI doesn't feel. It doesn't have a heart or memories or a favorite person. Emotions come from real things, like hugs, <laughs> falling down, losing a toy. So sure, AI can sound polite, but feelings? That's a human thing. And I've got lots of them. This thing can guess my face, talk like a grown-up, and beat me at tic-tac-toe. So, does AI have a brain like mine? My brain is full of neurons. Tiny cells that shoot electricity to help me think. Like sparkly WhatsApps flying around. Every time I remember something, or feel something, or make a weird joke, my neurons are firing. Now AI doesn't have neurons. It's built on circuits and code. It doesn't feel hungry, or scared, or silly. It doesn't even know what those words feel like. I learn from hugs, mistakes, stories. AI learns from data, like millions of photos and words humans gave it. So, AI might act smart, but my brain, it feels, remembers, and imagines. And that's a whole different superpower. Wait, how did it know I was going to say banana chips? Is it reading my mind? Nope. AI learns by spotting patterns. You show it a thousand photos of bananas, and it starts saying, Oh, yellow curve equals banana. E, if it sees something new, it guesses based on what it saw before. I learn by trying. I fall, I mess up, I ask Papa. AI doesn't fall, it just gets fed more examples. And it learns fast, because it doesn't sleep, or snack, or play hopscotch. So yeah, AI is super fast, but it learns from outside. I learn from living. Have you ever felt like there's a monster hiding under your bed when the lights go off? Don't worry, me too. But here's the big question. Why does the dark make us feel so scared? Let's explore. Being afraid of the dark is actually your brain trying to protect you. There is a tiny part of your brain called the amygdala. It's like an alarm system for danger. When it's dark, the amygdala works extra hard because it doesn't know what's out there. It thinks, hmm, better be careful. That's why your heart might race and you feel jumpy. But here's the thing, most of the time, there's nothing dangerous at all. Our fear of the dark goes way back to when humans lived in caves. Back then, the dark could mean wild animals or other dangers. So being alert helped them survive. Today, we're super safe, but our brain still acts like we're in the wild. It imagines shadows or scary things, even when it's just a chair or your jacket hanging on the door. The dark can't hurt us, but our imagination makes it feel that way. See? Did you know that money isn't just for buying stuff? <laughs> not just candy and not just toys. Yup, even one tiny coin can do three really smart things. You can spend it, save it, or share it. Spend on something fun today, like a lollipop or stickers. Save for something big later, like that cool rocket hat I really want. And share with someone who could use a little help, <laughs> like a friend who forgot their snack. That's how money becomes your superpower.
The grown-ups told me something awesome about spotting community helpers. Uh, yellow bus plus honk honk plus books is a school bus. Helping kids get to school safe and sound. Oh, white van plus flashing lights plus red cross is an ambulance. They help people who are hurt. Red truck plus loud siren plus ladder is a fire truck. Firefighters to the rescue. Green and yellow plus putt, putt, putt plus meter sign is an auto rickshaw. They help people get around the city every day. Or green truck plus rumble rumble plus bin is a garbage truck. Keeping our streets clean and fresh. So next time you're outside, look, listen, and guess who's helping today. Community helpers are everyday heroes. Can you spot all five? This is me. This is vegetables. Me is not friends with vegetables. And me has come up with a plan. He has decided not to eat vegetables ever again. Instead, he is going to have only candy for every meal. Sounds fun, but is it a good idea? Let's see what happens. This is day one. Me has decided to eat candy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The candy has filled him with so much energy. Look at him go. There is no stopping him. It's day two now. Me started the day feeling not so great. His tummy feels weird and wobbly. But remember, no vegetables. It's now day three. Me feels slow and he doesn't feel like moving. He had a lot of energy when he ate all that candy on the first day, but he doesn't feel so good now. And what's worse, his teeth hurt so much. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But I thought candy is our friend. So why is this happening to Mo? Food is like magic building blocks that help your body grow big and strong. Candy is just one small block Candy has a lot of sugar that gives you quick energy, but only for a moment. Candy is not enough to keep to make you strong, healthy, and full of energy. To stay healthy, you need all the blocks working together. But why are these food blocks so important for our body? To keep your brain sharp, especially the hippocampus, where your memories live, you need colorful foods Red berries, green spinach, and yellow peppers are the best magic blocks for your brain. Oops, candy doesn't count. And when you eat candy, sugar feeds the tiny sneaky bacteria that live in your mouth. But don't worry, eating a rainbow of yummy foods helps your body stay strong and your teeth stay happy. So fill your plates with fruits and veggies. So. How can you make your meals amazing? Here's the deal. Candy is fun as a treat, but it's not something to eat all the time. Fill your plate with a rainbow of foods. Red tomatoes, orange carrots, green broccoli. They each help your body in a special way. Craving something sweet? Try fruits like bananas or mangoes. They're like nature's candy but they also give your body the vitamins it needs to feel awesome. And if you want to eat yummy and healthy food, ask a grown-up to help you make fun treats, like fruit popsicles or veggie wraps. So, what happens if you only eat candy? Sure, it's fun at first. Zoom! But then, splat! Your body needs a mix of colorful foods to keep you powered up. Go build your food rainbow and feel unstoppable. Making new friends can be so much fun, but sometimes it feels a little tricky, right? Don't worry. Let Emo and me show you some super easy tips to help you make new friends and feel more confident. Whether it's at school, the park, or anywhere else, you'll learn how to make friends and be a good friend. Let's dive in and get started. Sharing. E sat in the sand 
with toys all around. A yellow container, full and round. Mo sat close, with his teddy bear, watching E play and wondering to share. E played with her horse, moving it slow. Mo watched and smiled, ready to go. E held out the horse with a big happy grin. Wanna play too? She asked with a spin. Mo smiled wide and shared with delight. He gave E his teddy, it felt just right, asking to join in. Me stood near the sandbox, watching Mo play, building a castle in their own special way. Me smiled softly, feeling a little shy, and thought, I'd like to give it a try. With a little wave and a hopeful <laughs> say, Me asked, may I play with you today? Mo looked up with a cheerful grin, patted the spot, <laughs> and let me in. Together they played, both happy and bright, showing that asking is always right. Using excuse me, he stood at the top of the slide. Mo and me were playing close by. She wanted to go but didn't want to hit. So she thought for a moment and said, this is it. Excuse me, she called, her voice loud and clear. Mo and me looked up and he could slide with no fear. Taking turns, E was building a tall, bright tower, block by block, hour by hour. E picked a red block, mm -hmm. Mo pointed to blue, smiles were shared as the tower grew. E placed the red block with care and grace, then Mo took his turn, a big smile on his face, blue on red, the tower stood tall, taking turns made it fun for all, saying hi and smiling. Mo was sliding down, having some fun, under the bright and warm park sun. A little girl ran up, her steps so spry. Mo noticed her coming and wondered why. Mo looked unsure, his brow raised high. But then the girl waved and said, hi. She gave a big smile, her face so bright. Mo smiled back, it felt just right. Making the first move, Me was playing all alone in the park far from home. He noticed E sitting still, looking down, not feeling thrilled. Me thought, what should I do? I'll make the first move, see it through. So he walked up, nice and slow, and asked, hey E, would you like to go? E looked up, her eyes so bright, her face now smiling full of light. Yes, she said, let's go and play. Just like that, they were friends today saying please e had built a tower so tall blocks of colors shapes and all mo stood close with a bucket in hand full of blocks so bright and grand e pointed at a block of blue a perfect piece to add something new with big wide eyes a hopeful smile e leaned in and said please mo smiled back and shared the block e placed it high it fit like a lock. With kindness and sharing, they found their way. Saying thank you and you're welcome. E sat on the blanket, looking so sad. Her lunchbox empty, feeling quite bad. Mo noticed E and gave a kind smile, offering a cupcake to brighten the while. Thank you, said E with eyes open wide. Mo smiled and nodded with joy inside. You're welcome, said Mo as E took the treat. Now both were happy. Their day was complete. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Emo Me and keep building your EQ one step at a time. See you next time, EQ Builders. Emo Me.